Two new gas turbines were commissioned at PowerGen's plant in Pinal this morning. And the new upgrade is to equip the company to generate more electricity using less fossil fuels. The installation comes in perfect timing, according to the Public Utilities Minister Fitzgerald Hines, who says the project will help boost this country's energy industry and has pushed this country one step further to achieving developed country status. Janine Brown reports. ...tasked with supplying a significant 46% of power at the national level. With this new and latest project, the plant will now be able to generate larger amounts of energy using less natural gas as fuel. The initiative comes on the backdrop of a contraction of the energy industry that's being felt the world over. Speaking at the commissioning ceremony on Wednesday morning, Public Utilities Minister Fitzgerald Hines commended the industry leaders who made the project a reality. As he said, it's a sign of maturity in the industry. This plant doing so much, contributing so much, dealing with industrialized chemicals and all of that, that you could with modern technologies operate all of these things that 50 and 60 years ago would have been downright dangerous. He is confident that the project, which cost 23 million US dollars to undertake, will in the long run help cut operational costs. And it will pay for itself in terms of the efficiency and the improved productive output that we envisage as a result of it. Mr. Hines also took the opportunity to put it to the industry experts gathered to consider other conservation projects in the future as he highlighted the need for this country to lessen its dependence on natural gas. Referencing fossil fuels, he said it's not only unsustainable but harmful to the environment. Countries like Iceland have responded by phasing out that source of energy and replacing it entirely with renewables like geothermal energy and hydropower. We in Trinidad and Tobago, as dependent as we are on the economic activity that surrounds the oil and gas industry, must, must begin to develop infrastructure around renewable energy sources. The new system took just about one year to manufacture and to develop, and an additional six months for installation. Janine Brown, CNews.